Hi everyone, my name is Doel and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use ArcGIS Enterprise Sites to create a data discovery site for both GIS as well as non-GIS users to easily discover your organization's data, maps, and apps. I'm going to start by providing an overview of ArcGIS Hub and Enterprise Sites. I'm often asked about what the differences between these are as they look very similar, so I'll provide a brief overview on that. Next, we'll take a look at best practices for preparing your data and services in ArcGIS Desktop. I'll then jump into a demo where I'll show you how to build your data discovery site and then feature your site on your portal homepage. And finally, I'll end with some resources and useful links to help you get started. So let's begin with an overview of Enterprise Sites and ArcGIS Hub. ArcGIS Hub is an easy to configure cloud platform for organizations to collaborate with their communities and accomplish information-driven initiatives. ArcGIS Enterprise Sites allows you to create a tailored web page experience for your users to help you share your portal's authoritative GIS data to other departments more easily. So they both provide the ability to build tailored websites and sub pages, and they both share the same underlying website technology, but that's pretty much where the similarities end. ArcGIS Hub is a software as a service and is part of ArcGIS Online, whereas ArcGIS Enterprise Sites is hosted on your infrastructure and is a part of ArcGIS Enterprise. Hub leads Enterprise Sites in features and functionality. It's optimized for the web and uses techniques like CDN and search engine optimization. It contains three subsystems that Enterprise Sites does not. So it has custom domain URL support, it's got an expanded download system and an improved search experience. And Hub has additional licensable features for external community engagement. So in summary, ArcGIS Hub is part of ArcGIS Online. It has more functionality and two licensing levels, basic and premium. Meanwhile, Enterprise Sites is part of ArcGIS Enterprise Portal and was introduced at 10.6.1. So when would you decide to use Enterprise Sites or ArcGIS Hub? So I would recommend you use ArcGIS Hub when you can use ArcGIS Online. There's no credit burn, you have unlimited bandwidth downloads and we host the infrastructure. However, a lot of users want to deploy this functionality on a private network. So if your IT policy prohibits you from using ArcGIS Online, if you work in a disconnected environment, or if you need control of your web server, then use ArcGIS Enterprise Sites. But before we can build our data discovery site, let's walk through a couple of best practices for getting our data and services ready from ArcGIS Desktop. So the first thing I would recommend is make your attributes human friendly with attribute aliases. So to do this, right click on your layer in ArcGIS Pro, click on fields and edit your aliases. Attribute aliases makes it easy for users to understand your data especially to non-GIS users, as you can see the differences here. Next, turn on editor tracking whenever possible. It's nice to see when data was last updated as this helps build trust and confidence in the data. To do this, go to the catalog view in ArcGIS Pro, right click the feature class and enable editor tracking. Where possible, make your data available for access over open standards such as WMS giving your users flexibility in how they access this data. Turn off feature access if it's not needed to improve performance. And finally, provide a friendly name for your web layers. Complete the summary and tags fields, adding as many as you can, making it easy for your users to discover data. Now that you have your data published as services, let's jump across to a demo where we will build a data discovery site together. Okay, so I've signed into my enterprise portal as an administrator and to launch enterprise sites, I can find the application in the app launcher up here. This takes me to the enterprise sites overview page where I can create new sites or manage existing sites. There isn't a limit to the number of sites that you can create. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new site, give my site a name. So you'll see that out of the box, Enterprise Sites pretty much comes ready with all the essentials you need to build a data discovery site. 
So I can simply start by editing these existing widgets. So I'll start with changing my banner image to look more like my organization. Next, I'll go and change the banner text. I have a search box that's already configured, which I'm going to leave. I also have some pre-existing categories for browsing data. Now, some users like to browse data. So using categories is a great idea and a great way of doing that. Other users like to search by using key terms. So it's just really about giving users that flexibility that they need. Now, some of these categories don't really apply to me. So I'm going to go ahead and edit these. And the way these work is by using tags. So it's quite important to make sure your underlying data is tagged appropriately. Next, I'm going to take off any widgets that I don't need. I can also customize other settings such as the theme. Add additional widgets to my layout, such as a web application or a web map. And finally, I need to choose what data to show off within my site. Now I have a group with some curated content from both within my organization as well as from the Living Atlas. So if I switch back to the site overview, I can now link this group to my site. By default, there's a group that gets created when you build an enterprise site, but I can also add an existing group. So I'm going to add my data discovery group. And finally, to test if all of this works, I'm going to launch my site as a user would perform a search for one of the data sets. And there you have it. We've built a data discovery site for our organization. So now that I have my data discovery site ready, I want to make this site accessible to all of my users. One way of doing this is to feature it on the portal homepage. Now, most organizations already have users starting with the home page. So this is a really good way of showcasing my site. Let's take a look at how you do this. So on my home page, I have a couple of featured applications that are from a group called Featured Maps and Apps. So to add my enterprise site to this home page, if I switch to my content folder and launch my site application, I can edit the thumbnail. And finally, to feature this on the home page, I click share and share it to my featured maps and apps. I should now have my data discovery site featured on my home page, making it easy for my users to access this. So I hope you saw how easy it was to create a data discovery page for your organization using enterprise sites. ArcGIS enterprise sites can be used to create other tailored web page experiences for your users. To get some ideas on how you can use enterprise sites in your organization, visit this demo portal for some inspiration. There's also free training available that goes into more detail on designing sites and pages at training.esri.com. Thanks for watching.